um, 150 this week. How proud are you to reach that milestone for Ulster? Yeah, look, I'm delighted. I've been sitting on 150 caps or 149, sorry, for for about five six months. So um, it's good to finally get it. You know, I had a had a, a stint out where I was injured and a lot of rehab and physio to get back. So it's great to finally be back and you know it's an added bonus that I can mark it with a, a milestone from 150th. Any highlights that you can pick out from your Ulster career so far? Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, my first cap, definitely my my hundredth cap, milestone like that. And it's like there's loads of times, especially having been injured for the last nine, ten weeks. You know, you you almost. Uh, felt like you took it for granted being able to, to play and be injury free week in week out so you know it's just a it's a, it's a great career and I, I love every opportunity to put it on. And you are one of the youngest to reach the milestone I mean that's got to be something special for you as well. Yeah that's good I mean um, I'm 26 now and, and I have played a lot of rugby and I suppose now it's, it's, it's funny there's there's a lot of younger guys coming through and you, you kind of feel like you're maybe one of the more senior players of the squad and then you've got guys who are you know 30 in their 30s as well so it's a good mix I suppose of, of, of youth and, and experience. You've got another 150 in you do you? Yeah we'll see you know look after the body <laughs> recover well and who knows why not. As you said very frustrating start to the season what does that do, maybe not even physically to you, but mentally, just getting that injury so early at the start of the season? Yeah, the, the worst thing for me was the pre-season that we had was probably one of the most enjoyable pre-seasons I've had with Ulster uh, in my tenure. And just with, the, with the new guys coming in, with Jono and, and Dwayne and working with, with Les and Aaron, it was just a real good dynamic and pre-season went really well and I felt like I was in the best shape I've been in in terms of... Uh, uh, speed and, and, and fitness and, and S&C point of view so that was probably what was most disappointing for me you know having done all that hard work and then for to be sidelined for, for nine weeks um, was kind of frustrating mentally but I kept myself busy and stayed positive and uh, I did my training and I did my rehab and um, you know I just, I just kept it ticking over and I, I thought the most important thing is to get myself right and, and be able to play again um, and uh, luckily that happened and, and now we're here.